Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to part two of today's tarot card reading. Um, I've pretty much uh, gone through uh, today's tarot card spread, which is a very interesting spread. Um, I don't think we've had uh, one like this spread, um, but I was just um, finishing up on this Eight of Swords card. Um, the reverse description indicates um, a time of hardship ending. Um, and not only that, but um, being able to move on because uh, you've learned lessons. So that's great. One second. Um, okay, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, so anyway, um, I'll go ahead and show you all the cards one more time. We got the past and the future and outcome. Um, so I flipped him over uh, instead of having them face down and there being a sort of a revealing type of uh, situation going on. Um, I just uh, flipped them all over all at the same time. So we kind of, um, I think maybe in a lot of tarot card uh, readers kind of do that. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, but anyway, we have a, a bit of a situation which I think um, uh, is probably um, there might be a social standard. Um, this kind of seems like a situation kind of already thought through. Um, I th what I, I guess what I'm trying to say is I think the tarot card reading would probably have been a lot different if I um, had the cards all face down and then revealed each one individually. Um, but seeing these cards, seeing as they're all reversed and seeing as um, there's not really a, a specifically negative card, um, uh, uh, but according to the description, there might there there this can contain negativity, um, but looking at the glass half full and trying to focus on the positive, um, which is something that our our present does, um, which I guess is very uh, good, uh, right? Considering our obstacle today is. Um, somebody who's trying to pick a very personal um, fight and whether they're trying to pick a fight or um, maybe just uh, trying to uh, do the action itself um, just because they know it's wrong. Um, uh, it, it might be that. Um, whether that's uh, a cry for help, whether that's um, they're trying to show some sort of power um, because they think they might still have some. Um, uh, I think is interesting, especially considering our outcome here is the um, three of wands, which is the heart of gold and a future and journey of um, positivity, possibility, and opportunity. Um, so we have this uh, Eight of Swords here. I really like this Eight of Swords. Um, the Eights in this deck always indicate some sort of um, extreme discipline. Um, here is with... Uh, um, uh, discipline of, uh, I guess, logic and reason. I guess there might be a situation where there could be exposure to a lot of stupid stuff <laughs> and a sort of protection from that, um, uh, which is uh, interesting considering we don't have any influences today. Um, I, maybe this card has something to do with that. Um, but I like the Eight of Swords and I think it's very interesting. We have it over the Ace of Pentacles today. Um, so I guess, uh, it, it's just keeping in mind that, um, there might be a bit of deception going on 
there might be a bit um, uh, uh, somebody acting out um, uh, maybe because they're being mean to somebody and nobody's caught on to that um, but maybe with this kind of conflict approaching a, con a conflict um, might reveal um, uh, maybe if uh, an immature uh, person is, is hiding something um, that could be hurting somebody. Um, I know that's kind of a bit um, much, but this is a very interesting spread. Um, so yeah, I think um, the past and the present is very interesting and um, We have a lot of dynamic and a lot of stillness and um, uh, we're going to have an obstacle of somebody um, being disrespectful in a very personal, uh, dare I say visceral, um, kind of manner. Uh, and um, which could result in conflict. I think um, our past and our present is really going to help us weigh um, a way to extract the most gain and minimize the um, most loss. Um, but the future and outcome I think is going to be really good um, because if um, somebody's taken somebody's work, um, if somebody's taken uh, somebody else's ace of pentacles here, um, I think that's definitely going to be shown and not only shown and revealed, but um, there's going to be a lot of positive energy uh, towards that heart of gold. Uh, one, because um, usually that's just what happens, right? Um, you have a, a heart of gold and it's interesting that it's the three of wands here because usually you might uh, assume that would be an ace. Um, but you just think that um, somebody with a heart of gold, uh, there's going to be good things that happen to them. Um, so uh, it might be a um, removing of obstacles. Uh, that may, there might be something blocking this um, possibility, opportunity, and positivity. Um, uh, And as far as this conflict goes, it might be that um, uh, somebody doesn't like conflict. It, you know, uh, our past uh, might be um, an ability to approach conflict in a mature way, and our, and our obstacle might be uh, somebody who go towards conflict in a very immature way. Um, but we might also be dealing with a, a third um, party, an entity that um, might not like conflict so much. Um, so that's interesting. I'll just go ahead and throw that out there. Um, but overall, this is a great spread and uh, uh, a much needed one. Um, so yeah, your, your intellect, logic, and reason, I think, is going to be uh, extremely valuable. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start drawing. And let's uh, see what happens. You want to move it?
Okay, so so far I have three on the we cannot see. <laughs> okay, so so far I have this, uh, she's kind of, I don't know, dynamic, I guess. I don't know what to see. Maybe the dynamic in the eyes there. Okay, so we got two verbs <laughs> uh, for her earrings today. She didn't have her big Dumbo ears today, but that's okay. I guess maybe that could be part of the um, Ace of Pentacles. And the birds kind of look like leaves like for the fall, this one, in my opinion. So uh, she's got a leaf necklace uh, with some flowers and shells.
Okay, so I just drew some eyes. You can see that her eyes are not so pronounced, but she's got eyes over here. Um, and they're looking away. I guess this could be like the Eight of Swords. Um, maybe kind of being a bit um, non-intrusive. Uh, so yeah. Eyes could be uh, knowledge, wisdom, um, intellect, and logic, uh, personification. Okay, I think I have our, our drawing pretty. Um, can you guys see? So I got the eyes and then I drew some arrows. Um, we have everything reversed today, so I drew the tip of, the, of this arrow reversed. Um, and that can be um, uh, also kind of a sign of intellect and logic. Um, maybe um, discovering um, new avenues and uh, functions and um, uh, structure um, to things. Um, so yeah, here's my uh, drawing today. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's my drawing. That's my video. You can't see it very well with this life right now, but I'm, I'm going to post it on my Instagram. Um, so yeah. Uh, Y'all have a good one. This today's tarot card reading. Uh, let me know um, your thoughts, concerns, um, positive energy. Uh, you know, whatever you want to put out there. Uh, let us know. Um, anyway, y'all have a good one, and I'll talk to you later. And um, as always, uh, I look forward to the next tarot card reading.